Hey, what's going on, y'all? It is Marcus from Motivate Unplugged, and we are here for our final episode of this season. How do I say goodbye? Ooh, episode 13, y'all, we made it. We'll be back. We'll be back. Yes, we will. <laughs> you know the note got Holy Ghost when you point up, right? <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> it ain't the same unless you point. You got to let them know where you're going. So we wanted to get together with you guys. You know, this is more of a chill, relaxed environment this time. We're not really going to be going into... Now, if the Holy Ghost hit and we get to talking, we're going to get to talking. But <laughs> I wanted us to recap over this season some of our highlights, some of the things that, you know, we hope to bring into next season, some bloopers, some funny things that they may not know about. Mm. Uh, because <laughs> we be in here fully cutting up. <laughs> I mean... 100%. 100%. It is cut-up time the whole time. Um, we've had some crazy things happen. Uh, but I'm going to start off... One of my favorite things this season was when Gabe tossed that water bottle behind him and it knocked off part of the set and it was like the perfect throw wreck it ralph <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and we're on one yeah. six and felix where's six and felix <laughs> 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 it is what it is. He was just swinging that joint around. It is what it is. And, and you get what you get. And that joker just said, Dunk. <laughs> Bro, that right there was hilarious to me. Are you going to tear up next season set? We'll see. Oh, God. Mm. As you can mm. see, he's the man of <laughs> a few words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unless he really wants to talk about it. Mm -hmm. What y'all got? I favorite thing do. this season? Favorite thing. Mm. Favorite topic, favorite guest. Favorite moment? My favorite guest, um, hands down, had to be Miss Ashley. Yeah. Um, she got the ghost. Yeah. She knows she, the Lord. She was my absolute favorite guest. Um, as far as favorite topic, mm. I don't know. That was a good topic, too. Oh, it testimonies. Really testimonies, yeah. It but was see, just... she let us have it after the cameras were off. Yes, That's she did. I, and man, we had the... That was a whole other we were... podcast. It literally, it was after. a part two. Yeah. It was a part two. Um, it was really good. I, I just thoroughly enjoyed that day. That was a good episode. I it did really also was. like... Um, what was that episode where we were talking about politics? Every episode. <laughs> right. <laughs> no... <laughs> Was that uh, anger? That was anger. No, that was compassion. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we yeah. were talking about right. compassion, I um, I enjoyed that one too. That was a good episode. Yeah. We got into some real talk there. Yeah. I've actually gotten a lot of messages from people saying uh, that they thank us for actually not being afraid to jump into those dialogues because mm -hmm. a lot of people are afraid to talk on those subjects, and especially in the church. Uh, and we're just real. I think that's and one of the not greatest two mature parties coming together. Bingo. But I think uh -oh. that's one of the greatest things about our podcast. We ain't scared of nothing. At all. I think there was about five times I said, catch me outside. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's this principle um about being one hundred percent honest. Most people are ninety percent honest. Mm -hmm. Um, but you only see growth and or progress in the last ten percent. Mm. And so if you leave out that last 10%, there's just a level of growth forward progression that you're just not going to get to. And so the fact that we are, I mean, as honest as we can be on this podcast is is great. I, I love it. I just thank God for growth. Mm. My God. See, the Holy Ghost hit. He started dropping gems. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was good. Gabe, favorite moment? I ain't got one. You ain't got a favorite moment of the season? I am the favorite moment, brother. Oh! oh. Over. <laughs> oh, no. We Everything I bring to no, the table, sir. have brought, is my favorite. He said, I... And you're welcome. <laughs> no! <laughs> you were special. <laughs> what is that? Jay-Z said, my presence is a present. These two... <laughs> okay. Y'all need to show if together. If that was a note, I would just throw it in. <laughs> Kobe. <laughs> it was a Kobe. <laughs> Kobe. Did you say Kobe? Oh, no. <laughs> really, Gabe? You don't got no favorite moment? No mm. favorite guest? You edit all the episodes, so you get to see it 90 times before it gets up on Yeah, I'm tired of it. 
honesty. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I can only big kudos to Gabe because I can only imagine you talk it, then you got to watch it, then you got to edit it. Yeah, that's a lot, dude. So y'all show some love to Gabe in the comments for editing the podcast. And also show some love to Mr. Aiden Burnett, who is off camera right now, who's been doing audio for the podcast. Mm -hmm. That's why we need the cameraman pan to him. Zoom in. We need an Aiden Come. cam. <laughs> we do. Yes, we do. Yeah, we, do. we need an Aiden cam. <laughs> yeah. Like every other radio show has like their audio engineers in the shots. They have them like um, 99.5, what's his name? Intern Josh or whatever. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But he, he's become like the host. Man, you got a future, man. You got potential. <laughs> <laughs> what did, what did like? Oh, okay. He's smiling. He Aiden right. did do an episode too. I missed it. Yes, that one. he did. Yes, he did. He did. He did one. good. I thought he wasn't going to say yeah. a word. I didn't think he was going to put a mic up for himself. <laughs> but no, he, it was just a, mm, actually. Yeah. <laughs> he read the Saints the whole season, <laughs> that whole episode. It was like, they're lazy. I was like, dang. <laughs> that was good. What you got, Brian? Favorite one? Favorite mm -hmm. episode, topic, guest, <clears throat> host. Uh, did he say host? Host. He yes, said host. He did. Oh. Regular member. <laughs> Not Gabe. <laughs> I am so done. Right now. No, I I think they're all great. Oh, don't um, you give me that all my kids are special speech. <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not I mean, I've never been a part of a podcast. And so I it's hard for me to say what has been my favorite because I don't have anything to compare it to. Okay, so can we at least jump on this topic? <clears throat> Bryant came in, in his own words, as the new Aunt Viv <laughs> and smashed this season. <laughs> I mean, we have heard nothing but great responses on the, the, the touch that you add to the podcast, the content that you add, uh, the balance that you add. Oh, so really uh, nice. it's really good, y'all. It's been a good season. It has. It's been a really, really fun season. What do you think, Gabe? Should we do it again? We'll see. Oh, my God. We'll figure it out. Gabe has a full fan club, too, though. No, legit. Well, legit fan club. God bless y'all. That's the best you can say to your peoples? God bless y'all again. What y'all want? <laughs> you going to do a signing day or <laughs> <Right>. something? <laughs> Gabe's going to sign all the hoodies and sweatshirts he wore all season. <laughs> and auction them all. <laughs> it's going to a good cause. Me. <laughs> The yellow, yellow hoodie from episode 12. I was about to say, he don't, he don't watch them all. And here's the thing. He wears them fresh every episode. Yeah. He be coming to that joint, pop the tag. I got a new one. <laughs> it's every episode. Only he wore it 30 seconds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He yeah, only wore it 30 seconds. Here you go. He is the Mark Zuckerberg of podcasts. He's awkward. Well, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. <laughs> it's been a funny season, man. I, I feel like we've had great balance. I remember when we started off the season, one of the things we said was we wanted there to be a balance of humor, knowledge, and application. And I feel like that's something we've done all season at the end of each episode, challenging people to do something. Mm -hmm. I think one of my highlights of this season was the season dealing with bad habits. Mm -hmm. And how we ended that episode challenging people to get help. Um, we saw a huge response to that. And we put all the numbers for the hotlines. And people were just like, yo, I had to actually deal with it. I couldn't say that no one's ever given me an option. Mm -hmm. That was free, too. So I think that was one of the greatest things that we did this season. Um, I think when we look towards the next season, I would love to maintain that balance of humor application. What was some things y'all would want to add into the next season? I'm not adding the humor. You're funny, bro. No, that's all that one. See, I'll give him his Well, props. I'm not adding the application. What's up? <laughs> that's that's see, why we see, said I'm a nice, trying to be nice. A nice balance. <laughs> y'all are like legit salt and pepper. <laughs> Oil and vinegar. Sugar and salt. Why, I got, why I got to be the tangy one? What? <laughs> I'm going to get y'all matching T-shirts next season. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to do. Next season, matching T-shirts. So what would y'all add next season? I like um, have more have more guests yeah, because I like, you know, having that different 
mindset and perspective when we're talking about certain topics. That was fun. I liked having different guests. Gabe? I don't know. Bring me my wife, dog. Your wife? Mm-hmm. <sighs> if you're watching. Ladies. <clears throat> what the scripture says. <laughs> All you right. find it. All right. That means this you got to find it. on the World Wide Web. <laughs> There's some crazies out there. <laughs> There's some what? Some crazies. I, I feel like we should leave an episode and y'all two do it. And it's legit dating show. Oh God! <laughs> and bring it and bring in possible suitors. Oh, no. oh my God! Don't do gosh. that! Don't do that! Yo, that would be a great no. episode, bro. No, it wouldn't. No, no, it wouldn't. Because I'll end up thrashing somebody's character, and then, no. I was about to they say these learn. two are gonna hurt Mm-mm. feelings. No, nope. Gabe, be like, first off, your eyebrows are crooked. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, talk about what's your net worth. <laughs> Like that. Don't do that. Okay, would you Don't have, do that? Okay, what's, what's, what's I'm about to say, there it goes. <laughs> you ain't I That's know a legit for sure. Question, no. though. People it like credit le- karma, here you go. It is a legit that question. That is a legit but that's question. Not a, I just met you question. <clears throat> no. It is, is for me. What? Huh? You're gonna ask the girl her credit score? You got below 650. We gotta have a talk. If it's a date. I mean, what a are we date? doing? No, no, that's no. crazy. No. That's before the date. You don't get to the date. Before I know the credit score. No. For what? what? That's what a lot. See, that's, that's why he's government. single now. <laughs> <laughs> no, Gabe is single because he can't find out who's going to eat grilled chicken and broccoli every day. And he asking people what their credit score is. <laughs> and, and Chipotle. I'm going to build my wealth my way. This is all I'm saying. Oh, my God. Help okay. me. Well, Lord, touch I me. will say one of the wins of the season was we did not have any fails of an episode. I was what? you like a fail. A fail. Okay. Yeah. Like when you're bringing in guests, you are worried. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I'd be stressed the heck out. I'm like, Lord, don't let them say something that's gonna get us canceled. <laughs> well, I think I think the the guests that we had on the show were pretty well rounded. Absolutely. And that's why they got called. Yes. <laughs> so I that's why I didn't have that There's worry that. or stress. I still because... in the back of my head have it though. Cause it's just like we're so free. And let's just say this. Compared to other podcasts, we are extremely free. Like, a lot of people have show notes. They have talking points. They have the guests have the questions before. Like, legit, if you're watching this and you're listening, our guests don't know what the heck they're going to talk about until they show up that day. Yeah. There are no pre-forwarded questions. There is no, oh, let me prepare a statement. Like, mm-hmm. it is real off the cuff. And I think that's what set us apart. From uh, other shows, so that's why I'm saying in the back of it's my head. It's been challenging. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Because I've watched mm-hmm. the podcast back, and I was just like, "Oh man, there's I could have said that a different way." And I hate that because <laughs> <laughs> there's so many times where I'm editing it, and I'm like, "Oh, I could have said this and this," but when I don't know it, I'm I like I look at your responses, right? Uh huh. I zone out. Because I have 80, ADHD on the brain. But I wasn't even finished, though. That's all right. <laughs> See? And I zone See? out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and I'm like, I could have input something here, but I'm still stuck on my two-week cash over here. <laughs> no, remember, it's three weeks now. Well, we're expanding. <laughs> <laughs> we're expanding. Jesus. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. <laughs> it has been an interesting season. No, because sometimes when you first give us the topic, it's like that dead silence. Like, oh, what am I going to say? Like, wait. Okay. Who's going to go first? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know when I show up to this, you know, the podcast, I got to be prayed up because he's going to ask me something that's like, not that it's crazy, but it's just going to take some... It takes some, some thought. Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. You gotta watch that. I gotta be heathened up. The that. what? Huh? You said what? I gotta be heathened up. No, 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 no. You're balanced. Sure Let me. You ain't heathened up. We at the up. house. I'm about to go grab. Yeah, you at the house. Oh yeah. Oil. Get the oil off the bookshelf. <laughs> off the bookshelf. <laughs> we finna open about to see deliverance. <laughs> Come on, I'm ready. I'm praying. Let's go. <laughs> open up all the doors. Let's go. Up There's and out. Three bottles to choose from <laughs> over there on that bookshelf. Grab one. It don't matter which one. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, oh man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was for the church folks. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, get get the trash can. Let's go. <laughs> get the trash can. We're going to have ourselves a Holy Ghost time. I think uh, when we talk about the episodes, I think one of the funniest ones was when we did this or that. That was fun. Oh, my god! Where the audience got to know more about us, and we figured out that Brian don't want nothing to do with no toilets overflowing or no fish and no fridge. 
Bro, that was hilarious. Praise God. <laughs> you still ain't gonna choose? What I look like? No, I'm consistent, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so what's some topics y'all want to talk about next season? Huh. Mm-hmm. Cause uh, let's just be real. We on season two. It ain't too much more stuff we can talk about. So y'all got to give us some help. What are we gonna talk? I about? I think we have to talk about financial literacy. Oh, that, that is, is actually a thing, was... especially if we're coming out of the season of COVID, where people haven't had the income mm-hmm. uh, that they normally have. Uh, Debt free versus like managing your credit. Like, what is it? Mm. You know, balance. What is a good saving? Taxes. All of that stuff. Oh, we have to touch frivolous spending if we're going to talk about financial literacy. Oh, Jesus. You got on the newest pair of Jordans, but you can't afford to buy a new tire. 30 uh-huh. people just exited goes. the chat. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, praise God, that talk is not for them. <laughs> That's good to me. I'm loving it. Yeah, we. I think we have to talk about it. Did he say a new pair of Jordans and no money to change a tire? Uh-huh. My God, or the PS... Depending on what car you drive, That's really about the same. Or a PS5 or, and or no car. new pair of Jordans, uh-huh. but you on the bus. Oh, my God. Oh. Right. That's the strangest thing to me. Oh, like yeah. how you got on it's oxymoron. Two hundred dependent if you bought it resale, three hundred dollar pair of shoes. Oh, with the off white. And you on the bus. Hold up, or something else. All these parents at the beginning of this year complaining about having to buy your child a laptop. Oh, but y'all went and got that new PS <laughs> that new PlayStation. That's real. Well. <clears throat> okay, so financial literacy. Anybody else? Any other yeah. topics? What you got? Touch points. That was that was good. I think we should have another sex talk. Yeah, we've been getting asked about that a lot. Yeah, I would like to be present for that one because I wasn't in the last one. See, see. Brum, 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 brum. I've been really trying, baby. Okay, I thought you was doing the San Francisco for a quick second. Brum, 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 brum. <laughs> 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 brum, 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 you know about San Francisco? <laughs> You know about Sanford and Son? I grew up on that. Did you watch Good Times growing up? Of course I did. Temporary layoffs. What? Of course I am. (laughs) Come on. Don't let let this fool you. (laughs) Bro, I would have lost the bet. (laughs) If you would have told me he watched Good Times and Sanford and Son growing up, what? Yeah. Good shows. Classics. I didn't didn't watch it growing up. I watched it after the fact because it was just before... What'd you watch growing up? It was a little bit before my time. Like, I grew up in the 90s. So... I grew up Gullah Gullah Island? Oh, yes. Mickey Mouse Club. You ever watched Gullah Gullah Island? Mm -hmm. Barney? No. Like, for me, like, the growing up shows were like... uh, Keenan and Kel. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, you was Rugrats. a Nick kid. See, I was a Nick kid. She was And a then Disney it was kid. like Moesha and oh, yeah. the Parkers. Oh, oh, yeah. One on one. The Cosby yeah. Show. Half and half. Yeah. Family Matters. Yep. Yeah. Oh, like man. Like that. That's sort of yeah. era. Seventh Heaven. I hate oh, wow. Touched by an Angel. Now, Touched I don't by care an what Angel was my I don't care what nobody oh, says. Touched Jesus. by an Angel was a great show. Touched was the Holy by Ghost. an Angel was <laughs> my oh, favorite. Del Reese. Every time Touched I looked at her, I thought about the, what's the name of that movie? That Harlem movie? Nights? Yes. <laughs> Quick, you shot my pinky toe off. That's my movie. Oh, she wasn't no an Angel to, in that movie. No, she was we not. We have to do <laughs> a movies episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've been asked to do that as well as a Disney episode. Yeah. I love Disney, so. God, and patients can sing all the Disney every songs. single one, <laughs> every single we, one. We're gonna have to bring Brittany back for that one because she can sing them with me. Yeah. So that's the question: Should we add another chair? I don't see why not. Yeah. yeah. Oh Lord. Why not? Okay. Well, we're gonna make that happen. What else, y'all got topics before we close this episode out? Or is that one of those, we'll, we'll figure that out? I mean, a lot of times it also depends on, you know, the season you're in. and What's happening in what's real time. Happening. <laughs> yeah, so um, I think it goes hand in hand. But definitely I think those right there are some good topics. Yeah. yeah. So what's y'all's goals for 2021? Personal. Level up. Look, in everything? <laughs> you, you all right? She was about to start doing the dance. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Level up. No, um, you don't know my life. <laughs> yeah, my goal is just to like um, to write more songs, to be effective in the position that I'm moving into come 2021. 
Um, we bless God. Wow. I don't know. Maybe be in a serious relationship. That'd be nice. Oh, oh. Mm. Right. Double dates. Ladies, <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> what? <laughs> What is, sorry, this, this, what is this sexy voice you putting on? We're starting a new series You take that sexy voice away. Quiet Motivate storm. love. Blow <laughs> hey, away. I can't like even take y'all serious. <laughs> what? Girl, you know I... I, 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 I. They not old. Love you. Some of them ain't old enough to know that. No. That's trifling. But they'll know... Uh, if she don't know that, she too young, sir. It's true. Very true. <laughs> very, very true. Because I know it. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely doing a sex episode. <laughs> Gabe can't be present, though, because his, mom, his mama still don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she found out by now. <laughs> you think you so? For, for a long time, I thought Gabe had started like an OnlyFans because he just kept talking about his secret life. You got OnlyFans? What happened? Oh no! Do you have an OnlyFans account? It depends. Y'all like Pete? Oh my gosh! (laughs) (laughs) You out here showing your feet for dollars? (laughs) Talking about I got a toe for you. A hundred hundred for a toe. Oh my, I can't believe people make bread off of that. Actual bread. Actual. We have to. We have to talk. Well, if we talk about do the sex episode, we have to talk about how pervasive our culture is. Oh, with sex workers Oof. and stuff. Because OnlyFans is now becoming an uh, acceptable, yeah, or common thing. Yeah, it's like the new MySpace. It's like it's real talk. <laughs> <laughs> These TikTok people, man, they hopping straight to OnlyFans. Oh yeah. yeah. It's like the whole new prostitution style scandal thing. So we gotta hop into that. Oh, you know what I think would be a good topic? Um, human trafficking mm. right here in the United States. Right here in Woodbridge, Virginia. Oh, yeah. All right. Right at the Walmart. Yeah, send me a cease and desist letter. Ooh. Let's go. Uh, this Holy Ghost? Gabe, plans for 2021. What you got? Um, Who knows, man? We're going to see where the Lord takes us. That's it. Got a call on him. I mean, I'm going a, I'm to, a, you know, shut off a little bit as baby fat or whatever, but, you know, who knows from there. I guarantee you'll still be wearing a hoodie. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gabe have a six pack wait, hoodie. Wait, wait. Mm-hmm. Was that? That wasn't a podcast. That was when we was doing Motivate Live. And Gabe came in with the sleeves cut off on his hoodie. Oh, yeah. And Marcus said, Why Gabe look like Miss Trudge? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that was out of pocket. <laughs> He, Man, was, oh, he had no. the shorts with the tubes <laughs> no. He like he was about to throw somebody in the chokey. <laughs> hey, Bruce! Oh. But he didn't come in the room. He had just walked past the door. We, we were so all when he said it, on the floor. I was done. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That was one of the funniest moments. Oh, my what God. What you got? 2021. Plans. Plans? Yeah. Um... <laughs> You know, I'm just trying to pop this baby out and, you know, be staying home. You act like it's a VCR. I mean, they just slide like, just boop. Come on. Just come on. <laughs> just boop. <laughs> just boop. Oh, it's another yeah. one. <laughs> well. Yeah. Um, no, it's, you know, officially... Something that I fought so hard against, um, being a stay-at-home mom. I'm actually looking forward to that and working on, um, you know, my businesses. And is that really a stay-at-home mom? Yes, because I'm. They're, I'm ho- they're home-based a- businesses, so I'm home. But I'm talking about if you're an entrepreneur and you have multiple businesses at home, even if you're still home, does that like to me stay-at-home mom? Correct me. The stay-at-home mom to me is. You're you're not doing anything outside per se. It is like just worried about the kids, but you're like legit a mom boss. No, no it's evolved That's because really? it has because you can, a lot of people cannot survive off of one income. Unless, well, not the income portion. I'm talking about the work that you're doing. Like it's it's not just focused on the kids. Like it's split into entrepreneurship. No, like, no, there's plenty like stay legit. at home moms that 
own businesses, multiple, but they're still stay at home. They don't go to a nine to five. If I don't go to a nine to five every day, if I am not employed by mm-hmm. an employer for a nine to five, I'm going to stay at home. Well, I mean, what's the difference between a dad who owns multiple businesses, but he works from his home office? Is he a stay at home dad? Who's his employer? Is himself. he his own boss? Then he's a stay at home dad. But y'all, y'all are uh-huh. still, even if you do. I'm about to be a stay at home dad. Well, we're both about to be stay at home. Get into gender roles and gender expectations. We should definitely I, have a conversation not, about that. That's which, a good that's topic. That's a good episode. Dog, I was that is a work. really good topic. I was at work and I heard this lady. She was like, Well, what are your pronouns? And I was hmm? like, He, her, she. What he. does that mean? This, so that's what I'm saying. It goes into gender roles, gender expectations, <clears throat> gender identity. Yeah. Gender identity. Oh, we she wasn't, ta- she wasn't talking to me. <laughs> like, particularly, but I heard Mm -hmm. her ask it. And so she's already at a level of thinking that most people are not at, just to be politically correct. But she just, she threw that question out so fast. As soon as she started talking, she was like, well, what are your pronouns? And I was like, dog, I don't know where you work at, but for that to be your first question, when you in here for yourself. Yeah, we definitely need to talk about that. Yeah, that's a good, that is a good Topic um, of discussion. We're gonna get into that stuff next year. But even, but Let's it's go. still, but it's still a thing. Even with you know the he gonna get sick that the week. Traditional. <laughs> <laughs> you say it already in advance. You know, my, <laughs> I feel a cough that's gonna develop in five months. <laughs> Y'all bringing in the guests? <laughs> Let me know when that's happening. I can't. Don't be scared. But the those um, gender roles within a marriage, you know, a man and a wife and who does what, and those things are even changing because the family style has changed. Yeah, absolutely. You know, with women working or women are not working, they're entrepreneurs, but the man of the household is still working. So those roles change, and for us, we've never really been in, in that. It's just like, I need help in this area. Like. Let's go. For example, I don't wash the laundry anymore. He he holds it down. I'll fold it. I you will see fold it's all, it. You see it's all still the same color, right? I did my thing. Thank God. Um, <laughs> the most basic. <laughs> <laughs> but, but when you think of a stay-at-home mom, you think of the cooking, the cleaning, the clothes, taking care of the kids, mm-hmm. and, you know, that's mm-hmm. that's it. The man goes and makes the money and comes home. He has... Dinner, you know, his meals, and he's relaxing on the couch, you know, and that's what a lot of people think and understand from, you know, the TV, TV and then the institution of a family. Yeah, because I have yet to find marriage. somebody who can cook better than me. Oh, I mean, oh. patience, you throw down, though. That's another, oh. but that's a good part of the relationship Dog. conversation. But like, you're talking really about dating. They got to be able to cook. Unless you can hang, like, in the kitchen. Yeah. Mm-mm. So you yeah. telling me if a girl had a perfect credit score and was making bank, was beautiful, and had no kids, no job issues, no car issues, and she just couldn't cook, you wouldn't keep her? But that's my love language. Like, no, that's I, what I'm saying. I like cooking, but I also like to eat. So that's a deal breaker. I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker, but it's definitely something that would need to be addressed. She would have to he take said, some cooking he classes. He said, here's some, here's, here's some no, gift certificates. Like, see, <laughs> this, Le this is where I'm like flexible. If if in the relationship, that's a route we have to go down. Like, mm-hmm. hey, let's take, yeah, let's do it together. Oh, see, like whatever. Like, I'm cool with that. Once again, yeah. motivate love. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's my goals for 2021. We're going to shut this thing down. I'm oh, sorry. That took me all the way out. <laughs> I can't even be serious. That's the most they love. No sense. Satin sheets. Um. <laughs> Every time. Turn his mic off, please. <laughs> Every time. Motivate 2021 goals for me. Um, being in our own physical space. Mm. Um, having people on staff being able to have albums out, being able to open back up and do live events again. Mm. Um, yeah. My God. Yeah. We ready for we you, We ready. <laughs> we ready. As soon as we get that green light, we having a motivated live night ASAP. Yeah. Um, but yeah, super excited about what's coming. Um, it's going to be a fun year. I'm excited for it. All right. Here's our application for you. We want you to send in some suggestions For topics, for episodes, for next season. You have time now. Figure it out. Think about it. Pray on it. Gabe is single, so you can also send in your phone number. Yeah, send in your dating resume. Okay. 
Why not? And Brian as well. This is, this, <laughs> this is not matched up. Send a photo. <laughs> Send your signature recipe, apparently. <laughs> and, and, and your social security number, apparently. He want to know your credit score, apparently. Bring he it. is so Bring shady. I, I ain't been shady towards him this whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. We'll catch y'all next season. Peace. Bye-bye.